Assalamu alaikum and welcome back everyone. This is the third video about impact citations and in this video we are going to learn on how to determine and place impact citations in a writing. So for your information, identifying the last name for western people is easy because it is common. However, you must be aware of the spelling, the use of punctuation of the last name, and you must not be confused with the middle names. As you can see in the examples given here, the last name appears normally at the end of it. But somehow, okay, if you notice, there is also a middle name here. So always take only the last name that appears in the original source. So you have the sample of citation given here. You can see and then we must also have a look at some different names especially those belongs to Chinese and Korean because they consist of a surname and they can be easily identified even when they use their English names so in this context if you are referring to an article perhaps okay written by Chinese or a Korean for example Lee Chong Wei here in the citation, you use the surname that appears in the beginning of the name. Take this for instance. You have the English name appears in the beginning of it, yet you just need to refer to the original name that appears in the name. So in this context, you just put Kim, 2017. So this applies for Chinese and Korean names. For Malay and Indian names who do not have last name, they consist of the father's name. In this context, you have to make sure whether to choose either the first name or the father's name. Some authors prefer to use their father's name and some authors prefer to use their first name. Regardless of which format you choose, you must be consistent with the use throughout the written work. For example, here, the last name appears as the citation. And this one, the first name appears in the citation. If you're going to choose to have the last name, okay, make sure you use it until the end of the citation in the writing. And the same goes if you choose to have the first name to be used in the citation, make sure until the rest of the writing you are maintaining the same format. Next, sources from the internet, especially the personal blog, rarely stated the author name. And sometimes only the pseudonyms or pen names are stated. So in this context, you must use the names mentioned in the website. For example, Jack, Arif, and the Reckless. So this is an example of how you can write the citation. All right, placement of the in-text citation in the text. So when you are writing in-text citation, you can have a look at the prominency of each of the information. So you can go for either information prominent or author prominent. For information pro prominent, the focus will be on the information and the author's name is put in the parentheses. So for example, it is stated here. Next, for author prominent, the focus will be on the author and the author's name is embedded into the text. This is an example of author prominent. So the year it was published is in the bracket or the parenthesis. So you can refer to the section on language expression on how author prominent in-text citations can be written for author prominent. And you can refer to the table on in-text citation format on how information prominent in in-text citations can be written. So I believe that's all for now. The rest of the things on how to do the placement for the in-text citation will be explained in detail in the next video. Bye.